Hey, how's it going? I'm Todd Baginski. Thanks for watching my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the XRM toolkit to connect to CDS or Common Data Service data inside of Microsoft Office 365. The XRM Toolkit is an outstanding little tool that is free that you can use to learn all about security permissions and do other housekeeping chores in your CDS environment. Let's get started. The first thing that you're going to do is open up the XRM toolbox. So here you can see I've done that and this is what it looks like when you first open up the XRM toolbox. From here, you're going to go to the top left and click connect. After you click connect, you're going to be prompted with this connection dialog here. If you already have a connection, you can see I've made a few different ones. They will appear here, but to make a brand new one, pick new connection. Then select the connection wizard. At this point, it's going to ask you for the organizational URL to get to your CDS data. To find this URL, you can do the following thing. The first thing that you will do is you will head over to your Power Apps environment where you have your CDS. So in this case, I have this environment up here named development. And notice it's called org 23d97cbe. This is going to be part of the URL I used to connect to the CDS data. You can verify that you this is the environment you want by expanding data and going to entities. And here you will see the different entities that you're trying to connect to in CDS. After you've done this, click the gear and select admin center. The Admin Center will open up the Power Apps Environment Admin Center. Here you can again select the environment that you are interested in working with with your CDS data. In this case, again, it's this one called Development. So I'll click on that. Now I am prompted with two links, this link right here and this link on the right hand side. Click the link on the right hand side. This gets us our connection string. Everything up to the end of .com right here is what I actually want to copy and put into um, my XRM toolkit for my connection string. So I'll copy that value. I don't need the browser anymore, so I'll minimize it. Now I come back here and paste that value in. Next thing I do is click Next. Then I will provide my username and password that I need to authenticate to that CDS database. So there's my username, and now I will paste in my password. And then I can also say, uh, click here, save password as encrypted string and connections file. It won't ask me again that way. So I'll click next. Now it's going to try to connect there, and my connection has been validated. So what I'm going to do is now give it a name so I can recognize it inside of the XRM toolbox. I like to name mine with the name of my tenant, and then CDS, that stands for CDS, and then I put in the actual identifier that represents that particular uh, instance and environment. Uh, when you're done, click Finish, and now, you can see down in the bottom, I am connected to that CDS environment and I can go ahead and use any of the plugins that come with the XRM toolbox. That concludes this short video on how to connect to uh, common data service or CDS data from the XRM toolbox. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. I hope it came in helpful for you. Now you know what to do. Go subscribe to the channel. Share the video with somebody else. I'm sure it'll help them out. If you'd like to work together sometime, hit me up at canvas.com. I work with folks all the time that I meet on these YouTube videos. And finally, if you'd like to see more Power Apps video, check them out down in the middle. I'll see you next time.